And it's difficult and needs training. And communities are learning to adapt to the fact that this is going to be a reality. They're going to have rising seawater. And they even predict that huge numbers will have to migrate. They're already migrating to Dhaka and elsewhere. And so this is a country with a lot of experience, but it's a very poor country. And it's the rich countries that have to take their responsibility and mitigate these greenhouse gas emissions that are causing the problem. Is more extreme weather events. They're going to be more intense. Uh, tougher, wilder hurricanes, uh, more droughts, more floods uh, of an intensity that we've very rarely seen in the past. But this is going to be frequent and it serves in a way as an early warning rather than like the canary in the coal mine that we really need to take action and take it quickly. 40% of all the climate instability is coming from an industrial agriculture which is also destroying the water systems and creating new vulnerability for food systems. We are not talking about vulnerability of the future. 2009 we had a severe drought in India. For any given climatic uh, impact, be it a flood or a drought or a hurricane, most of them, maybe five, six, seven, sometimes eight out of ten of the worst events occurred in the last ten years. The areas uh, of real conflict arise where people depend quite literally one-to-one -one on the land. They're not removed from the land. They depend on... What